Good evening, everybody, and a welcome to Dubai International Stadium, Game 3. Goes for that, straight over the top. And a couple of bounces and into the rope. So Pakistan off to a bit of a flyer through Baba. Yeah, he's tried a couple of times to use his feet and get to the pitch. And the Nathan Lyon was smart, he was pulling the length, and, but this time, Babar came out of the crease a little late, a touch late. And uh, Midor, Midon being up in the up in the circle, easy boundary. There it is, the sweep shot, top edge. It's going behind square though, and it falls safely, and it'll go into the rope. Yeah, the short one goes over the top, way over the top for six to nine. A change in length, and it's cost him. That's over, pitched up, hit well over the top. Cut. This one's pitched up and it goes over the top again. And another boundary. Slow ball has gone very far. 50 comes up with that six. Farhan into the X as well, 22 from 16. Off cutter picked up very cleanly. This one's slow and gone for the slog sweep, and that's a maximum. Great contact there from Fahan. Well, a lot slower from Zampa on that occasion. It took a little bit of a risk of buying a wicket outside the off stump, though. But Farhan took full advantage and just slog sweeped it. Down to that car corner. Beautiful hit. 85 meters it went. Fifty as well, bring up the fifty. So very good start there for Pakistan. 93 without loss. Yeah, Baba bring up another fifty. His fifth fifty in the last six innings. T20 internationals he's been a model of consistency another brilliant innings from just 39 deliveries oh yeah behind down the ground there's a chance at mid off and taken by Andrew Ty excellent catch Nathan Lyon gets a wicket yeah getting frustrated Farhan you could tell he was looking for that delivery to hit out or hit away but uh, nicely bowled I thought he bowled quicker and he bowled a full toss rather than just landing it because Farhan wanted to get under it. That was a quicker delivery. No control over that stroke. One hand came off the handle and straight away he knew that he's in trouble. Ty making no mistake. An easy, comfortable catch for him. And that's the first wicket gone. A man who's playing this game for uh, first, second, first time. He's got only 39. It's 93 for one. Chopped on, Bubba has to go for 50. AJ Ty, he's done it so often for Australia. Keeps having this knack of picking up wickets. Well, an excellent start of the over. And a massive wicket for the Australians. He's trying to cut loose, Baba Azam. He's trying to play that booming drive. Slow delivery, one of his slow deliveries. Just spun a little bit, got the inside edge onto the leg stump. That's a wonderful innings Babar Azam has played. He scored 50 or 40 deliveries. Put Pakistan in a very good position to build a big total. He's gone for 50, 97 for two Pakistan. Oh, down the ground and a beautiful strike from Hafiz. All the way for six. That's such a good shot. Quality shot. Pace and placement. Beautifully played. Get! And it's gone. It's a soft dismissal trying to work the ball against the spin. The ball is holding up and spinning. Zampa has picked up a wicket. His ball splendidly. His last over of the uh, of the stint. And uh, he's picked up Shoaib Malik. That's a big wicket for Australia. They needed that. Shoaib Malik looked in very good form. A flighted delivery. Just tried to turn it. Didn't get to the pitch of it. Hit it out the front, leading edge, and an easy catch to Aaron Finch, and they'll 
breathe a sigh of relief there, the Australians. That show Malik has gone. 18 from 12. Pakistan, 126 for three. Oh, that's improvisation. That's gone up in the air. He's beaten the infield once again and crashes the to the fence. Hafiz is playing a lovely hand here. 23 from just 12 balls. Didn't get it right, Andrew Tight. Went for the full Yorker. And it was well executed from Hafiz. Got down early. Knew the fine leg was up. Yeah, that's gone over the infield. That should find the fence as well. Not good stuff from Andrew Tai. Wide, slow ball, providing the width. Three boundaries in that over. Big over for Pakistan. 13 from it, 139 for three. It was a very good over from Pakistan, 13, as you say, Ramiz. But it was the width here from Andrew Tai. That'll be the disappointing thing. And with the third man up, the final leg up, the batsman know it's going to be a slower delivery. But when it's wide, it's easier to hit. Should go all the way. Oh, that's taken. That's brilliant. Colton Nile with a stunning effort. He had to wait for a very long time and then seized it. Brilliant piece of deep fielding. Beautifully judged this from Nathan Colton Nile. He was looking at the rope. He knew it was going to be touch and go. It went high in the air. There was another change of pace there from Mitch Marsh taking on mid on. As if, and a wonderful catch, he make sure he didn't hit the rope, and he didn't. Really good catch that from Nathan coulton and Mitch Mars picks up a wicket. As if goes for four, Pakistan 140 for four. Up in the air, catch, another catch, and Utai takes it quite easily. Faye Mashrav is the man dismissed, so two off two balls. Sorry, two wickets off three balls. Well, this is good bowling, this from Australia, and good fielding as well. Two good catches. They've just turned the momentum back to Australia. The whole back Pakistan. Andrew Tai in the rain, pouring down in Dubai. Takes a very fine catch down there at fine leg, and Mitch Mars picks up his second. On 41 for five. Oh, that's dropped by the keeper. Intention was to miss the field square that was set. Pakistan reached exactly 150, not 152, but 150. I think the Australians would be pretty happy with that, given the fact where Pakistan were. They had a great launching pad at one stage. They might have been looking around about 160, but 150 on the board will be tough for the Australians. They needed to get off to a good start. They do indeed. Quick look at the batting card for Pakistan. Mbaba once again in fine form. 68 the first game. And then 45 in the second game and another 50 for him in T20 cricket. Bahan was outstanding coming in for only his second game. 39 of 38, got them off to a good start. Hafiz, impressive coming in at number three, 32 off 20. 150 from five off their 20 overs is a pretty good score here in Dubai. And the bowling figures. Well, Nathan Lyon opened the bowling, probably bowled one extra over. He bowled uh, the first spell of three overs and was expensive. Coulton Isle, no wicket for 29. A couple of wickets for Mitch Marsh. Zampo, I thought, bowled pretty well. One for 25 off four. Darcy short four overs, no wicket for 27. So the spinners bowling a lot in the allotment of 20 overs for the Australians. Well, goes for the reverse sweep, gets it away fine too, and that'll run away for a boundary. Good start from Kerry. Brave shot, and Australia are underway. Well, it pulls this one away, and that's gone all the way, has it? Yes, it has. What a strike from Kerry, and what a start for Australia. Changing the angle now, Ahmad coming over the wicket. 
Oh, it's a slog sweep again. Has he got enough? Yes, he has. It's gone all the way. Back-to-back -back sixes for Carey. Well, the Australians are in a bit of rush here. Oh, there's a chance at mid-on and taken. Finch has to go. Fahim does the job for Pakistan. Hafiz takes a good catch low to his right. Oh, Finch, was trying to force the stroke. The ball was never there. It was a good length delivery. It was never to be, to be driven. And he was looking to go over the top. Ball sort of skids a little bit. Maybe he stayed a little low. The ball, the bat sort of moved in the hand. And uh, very, very easy catch there for uh, Mohammed Afiz. Pakistan needed that wicket badly. Early breakthrough for Pakistan in the second over. Pinch gone for one is 24 for one Australia. Oi! Oh, it's gone high. It's a chance should be taken and is. Carey's gone now. Mohammed Afiz does the job first ball. A little too relaxed. Carey trying to nudge it away on the onside, leading edge. An easy catch there, a short mid wicket. Very relaxed. Little irresponsible, I would say. And Pakistan will take that. Pakistan needed early wicket because of the first over. Batted really well in the first over, scored 20. Carry. 24 for 2 Australia. Oh, he goes for the big one. And pretty good contact too. That's gone all the way for four. <laughs> shot arm jab. What a shot. Picked up the length so early. Oh, another big shot. That may just go all the way. It's six. It's flat. It's brilliant. McDermott there showing his class and quality. He's a real talent, they say. Smashes it, and it's dropped. Hassan Ali there. That's gone up in the air. Is it a chance? This should be taken. It is taken. Safe pair of hands is Faye Mashraf, and Lixmina gets off the mark straight away up the first ball. A timid shot, not a full-fledged, full-blown slot from Chris Lane and he's gone. He was dropped by Hassan Ali just about five minutes back and this time no mistake was made by Fahim Ashraf. The slot sweep but the leg spinner got the ball to turn. Fahim Ashraf under it, cups it nicely. Shada first ball and gets rid of Chris Lane. Out for 15, 60 for 3. Run out, run out. It's the third time. Would you believe it? You've got to be kidding me. Poor fellow just doesn't know how else to get out. It's three in a row, three run outs. Oh, McDermott, he wanted a run. He was ball watching his partner. Well, he came out of the crease and uh, there it was all over. For the striker, he was batting so well. A real bonus for Pakistan, a massive bonus. Ben McDermott goes after scoring 21, 62 for four. Cannot afford any mistakes, and Maxwell goes along, long and taken. Big wicket for Pakistan. It's a big loss for Australia. The informed Glenn Maxwell goes, and Australia lose their fifth. So unreal what, what I'm seeing at the moment. Things are in so much control of the Australians, and they're just throwing it away. They're just giving it away to the, to the Pakistanis. A little bit of spin there, didn't really get the middle of the bat. No mistake made in the deep. Beautifully taken, nice and easy catch. I don't think coach is happy. He's very, very angry. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Maxwell gone for four. 75 for five.
Goes for it and gets it. Good shot there from Mitch Maher. Strong and straight. Mid ons coming in. Will he get there? He does. Really well bowled and really well fielded and caught in the deep. He had to make an effort to get to it quickly. And fantastic work there from Shoal of Malik. And mid deep mid on. He ran in really quickly. Yeah, one could sense it that it was coming. Mitch Marsh was getting edgy. Came down the track, no control over that stroke. He just chipped it. He chipped it in the middle of the bat. He just went straight to Shoaib Malik, picked up his second catch. Pakistan in control of this game now. 94 for six. Mitch Marsh gone for 21. And it's a fantastic catch. It's that man again. Shweb Malik there. 45, catch number 45. Most by any in T20 internationals at 37 and going stronger. And this has got to be one of the better ones too. It's an absolute classic. Coach Mickey Arthur, he's loving it. He can't be 37, he's got to be 21, Ramiz. What a catch, it was hit hard by Darcy Short. Look at the ground he has to make, low to the ground. And he rolled well, protecting that elbow, what a catch. You've got to love it, absolutely love it. Pakistanis have been outstanding on the field. The feeling has been flawless. And there was an ex example that, well, this was bordering on unbelievable. Needing 52 runs. Chance for another run out. Yeah, he's gone. Another mix up. Coulton Isle has to go. Yeah, brilliant from Pakistan and very ordinary from Australia. It's a big wicket, Nathan Colton Nile in the last innings. Plays away. For a, a quick five thirty odd, he was, he was yes, no, wait, and by that time it was all over. Yeah, I'm afraid Andrew Tyres sold him down the river there. Call of yes, then no. Colton Isle had no chance of getting back. Australia lose their eighth. Coulton Isle goes for a duck. 99 on the board. A chance for uh, Shadab to pick up his fourth. Oh, that's dropped. Against the runner play, it's Fahim Ashraf who's dropped a sitter, really, because they've caught brilliantly generally. Just saw Shwe Malik at 37 produce a beauty, and that was a sitter. That's taken, caught behind, yeah. There he goes with the celebrations. It's a full-length ball, inside edge, went quickly to the keeper, and he made no mistake. Nine down Australia. I tell you what, this is a great catch too. It went very, very quickly to his left. Quick delivery from Hassan Ali. And the keeper not finding it easy to get, to get the, catch those inside edges. Went very quickly to him. Hung on to an absolute beauty. And there's the Hassan Ali celebration. They're standing close to the stumps as well because we saw a lot of slow deliveries from Hassan Ali. Very good catch by Sefraz. Ty has gone after scoring 5 108 for 9 Australia. Last over of the innings. Australia need 34. That's gone up in the air. This should be all over. Pakistan win the game, win the series. They bowled out Australia. 30th instance where they've polished off the 11. Bowled them out. Wonderful effort by a fantastic T20 side. They're the world's best and it shows the way they work. Good in the field, outstanding with the ball and appropriate with the bat. And so it was wholesome performance that downed Australia once again. Pakistan winning the toss, selecting the bat first. 150, well, that was always going to be difficult. It's never going to be easy on this pitch. It was always, always slow and low uh, towards the end of the game. Barber, once again, he's been outstanding in this series. 50 from 40. But Fahan into the side. 39 from 38, and Hafiz 32 from 20. That was really the bowling from Pakistan. Shut up three wickets, Hassan two wickets, and Hafiz just the one wicket. In the 
end, Pakistan winning by 33 runs and winning the series 3-0.